okay. or the high of the day. So that is what I'm thinking of as I as I as I'm drilling down to the lower time frames. And like I said, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But that is just how it how it usually works for me. And okay. that is how I have those tight stop losses. Yeah, no, that makes a lot more sense now. But the way yeah. I learned, I learned supply and demand is like your entry, you put your pending order at the bottom of the candle or whatever, and then your stop loss is like the whole zone, right? But I didn't yeah. know you refined it to such a smaller time frame. But that, that makes a lot more sense, yeah. Yeah, I do. But like I said, I also I, I need to have, I don't just go into the one minute. I need mm-hmm. for what, what I consider to be a, 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 a supply level or a demand level that shows yeah. some momentum from it. Number one, number two, <clears throat> sorry, I need to go into the lower time frame and I need to see the same thing. That once okay. price gets there, it's showing me that confirmation as well. Then I enter, it needs to be either the high or 